Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for hanging out with me for another Mario Ramon discussion. And today we're going to talk about the release of Bill Cosby from his uh, sentence. It was three to 10 years and he served almost three of the three to 10 years. So he got out before three and way less than 10. Okay, and of course, you know, there's so many comments about this below and everything. But to me, I think everybody is just putting so much emphasis like, well, first of all, his lawyer uh, did a press release, you know, being a character witness for him. And, you know, my thing is nobody said sorry to the victims you know what i'm saying like there's still victims out there and you you have to understand that you know um and, and i it is alleged because i you know i wasn't there i don't know but i'm just talking about the the case at hand right now the 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 topic the conversation at hand is allegedly or he was charged a court or he, he was in jail so i don't know if i had to say allegedly but he was in jail for you know victims like he you know multiple ladies and, and, and people that he hurt. And that's my thing. You know, I don't give a crap if he is, you know, hey, 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 it's Fat Albert and all of that. It's just any person of power, whether you're a police officer, a, a judge, a, 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 a boss, a pastor, a parent, a uncle, don't abuse your authority for just because, because it feels something necessary in you. Whether you like to see, you get off on seeing people fearful of you, you get off on it, it's a rush. You get off on it. Or, you know, and you wanna hurt people in that way. Or if you're a pastor and you know people respect you and you know, or you're a movie star like Bill Cosby, you know people respect you and they just wanna be in a room with you and you take advantage of them and you know, and you hurt them. And that's the part that's not cool. And that's the, you know, everybody's like, oh, so listen, also who's hurt in this. So I just, first of all, before we, I move on, I want to say, you know, love and positive vibes, you know, to the victims and their families, because their families had to go through it with them too. Imagine if your sister got hurt or your brother or your mother got hurt, are you going to go home and watch Three's Company? No, you're going to stay there on the sofa and hug them and and hold them and, and you know and rock back and forth Shit. so the whole thing you know there, there there's you know there's a whole nother side we're not talking about here but also the cast members of his work you know his work was in syndication people were counting on that money you know to pay through for their children's college we thought we was going to have residual income forever, especially on TV land. So, and then we the people, you know, and it's a part of history that has just been, you know, it's, it's erased. And I do want to touch on how our greats always, you know, and, and I want to just talk about people of color, our, you know, black folk how our greats always are so phenomenal and so amazing and so captivating. And we capture the world at the time when we captured the world. Michael Jackson captured the world when it was his time. Whitney Houston captured the world when it was her time. Bill Cosby captured the world when it was his time. Prince captured the world when it was his time. Yo, we capture the world. Billie Holiday, it, the list goes on. And then, for whatever reason, our legacy is like people try and turn it around. People, that, I don't know who the people are. It just seems to me that we can never have anyone great and then just let them go to rest. They were good. Like, I don't mean no harm, rest in peace to everybody I just named. And Princess Diana, for instance, Princess Diana, she can just rest good. What you gonna say? Oh, she wore beautiful gowns in a tiara. They hurt her, you know, they, as in the people over there, hurt her, you know. Uh, that's probably what you're going to say. But Whitney Houston, oh, she was on crack. Michael Jackson, he was on drugs. Prince, he was on pills. Luther Vandross, oh, he was gay. 
It's just like we could just, you know. And so my thing in that, in saying that is, even the legacy for the Cosby show, that at that time, they captivated the world. It was no ethnicity. You know, it was white people, black people, Chinese people, uh, Puerto Rican people, Mexican people. Every, all the people loved the Cosby show. We love Claire Huxtable. And, you know, a, a part of us is gone. That's a part of us. That's a part of our DNA. You know what I'm saying? That's no different than hell. If you would, would yeah. And my and my thing is this. That's the that's the thin line. Should you take away somebody somebody's credibility and the things that they've done? Not credibility because that's down the damn drain. That's down. You can flush that down the toilet with some boo boo. But their body of work, based on, you know, what they've had going on personally, should. Should the whole cast and should the, we, the people, suffer? Because if they don't play it on TV or what if they stop playing, you know, certain music? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if they stop playing Michael Jackson because they say, oh, well, this is him. You know, he's dead now. And what if they stop playing Michael Jackson or, you know, anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? And then they just take away, you know, Fat Albert and... The, the the Cosby show and get smart or you know all of it all of it it's just erasing you know our history what do you think about it what do you think about it comment below I would love to hear your point of view so yeah definitely comment below let me know what's going on with you All right, let me just make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, I, I wonder what his life is going to be like with his wife and family. You know, it might be some quiet dinners. Hey, baby, could you please pass me the... You know not to talk to me. What did Shanene tell Gina? I don't like you, and you know that. Shit, you ain't got to hear it out in the streets. You know that. I ain't, uh, 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 you. You little, mm, 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 I ain't, mm, 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 you. Hey, you little, you know what I'm saying? That's what she, Camille, gonna be telling him, Mrs. Cosby. And the thing, and once again, there's so many different facets of of this one thing. Once again, what about all the good that he's done by providing education to the people at Morehouse and Spellman? They donated money, money, money. You know you got you didn't donate to somebody when they gonna um, make a library after you or something like that. You donated some money, money. So. You know, you get you. That's something we we can't ignore. That's something good. You know what I'm saying? And 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 generations to come benefited off of that. The people who they donated the money for benefited off of it. But like the students, and then their offsprings and their parents benefit off of it because they got the education. I pray they did what they needed to do after they got their education. And succeeded and exceeded. And they probably wouldn't have had that chance without that money. Not everybody that goes, you know, go to the schools are rich. And, even, you know, sometimes, yeah, even people with money need, need help. Those textbooks cost a mint. You're like, oh, I got to pay a small business loan for a textbook? $35,000, $45,000 for a textbook that you need. And they give money to that. You know, they give millions of dollars to that. So it's just so much to consider with all of this. Once again, my heart goes out to the victims, the families, you know, the victims. And um, like I said, the cast and, you know, um, I, I don't know what to say. That's all I have to say. You know, we're having a discussion. It's your turn to talk.
All right, so comment below. If you like the video, definitely like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time on Mario Ramon Discussion. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a great evening. Peace.